So I'm out behind my house, just doing a little bit of cleanup. We got a big old brush pile here that me and Matt made a couple weekends ago. We were cutting up some of the rest of them trees that were left over um, that you guys initially see me drop and start to buck up. There's the big pile of logs actually over here. So you guys can see how much wood that is. Nice big pile of logs there. So that's all drying out and it'll be ready for firewood. The rest of this right here is just all the brush from all them trees that we bucked up. So I'm trying to get this burnt today. Um, and then what I want to do while this is burning with you guys is go around the perimeter of my property and finally start cleaning up some of this brush that's in here. Over the years, I really had nowhere to put it and I didn't have a grapple. So all I can kind of do when trees fell and stuff, I kind of buck them up and push them off to the sides. So like in here, you guys can see how much is in here. There's like an old bush there. This is just a bunch of old dead like small trees small logs lots of brush um it goes all the way to like right here and then farther down this way i've got another couple logs here these are all rotten so i'm not going to be saving these so there's a log here there's a log there um there's some stuff down here i don't know how far down i'm going to go right now i'm mainly just worried about what's on the edges here so i can clean this up because eventually i kind of want to widen this out and uh, continue on you know filling in this uh embankment here and kind of building it up so that i have a little bit more area to work with here you can see in through here there's some big logs here's that one stump we ripped out earlier in the spring bunch of wood here there's a lot of brush and stuff underneath these logs nice little pile here and then down here this is when i first moved in um all this land that i cleared right here all that brush kind of went over to here so this is a lot of that brush here this whole area got cleared and got pushed over here so you can see how much brush is right here um so it's all kind of just like twisted and it's just a big knotted mess so i don't know how well it's going to do you know trying to get the grappling or to grab any of this stuff but we could certainly try i'll probably save this towards the end i would like to do that and i also want to pull this tree down with a chain so this is actually on the top of a tree which you guys can see way up here the top of that tree right there is broke and the end of it fell all the way down right here and it stood straight up and down like that i'd like to pull this down so it don't fall on somebody i'll get a chain around it hopefully drag it out um and then we can buck that up get that out of the way it's pretty rotted so i'm not going to save that either i'll just burn it so we got plenty of wood to burn so that's why i got that fire going up here once that fire gets going i'll hop on a tractor and we could start picking away at some of this stuff um i also do have some stuff over here way down over behind the brush pile here that I've been kind of pushing to the sides for a couple years now. This wood right here is from when I actually cleared this area, which I'll actually link that video like right up here. Um, but there was a video I made clearing all this um, with my front end loader and a lot of that I pushed over here. So we'll burn all this too. This is actually the beehive video where this tree had fallen in my front yard and it had a huge beehive in it. You can kind of see where they were living. So I cut this open with the chainsaw and uh, exposed them a little bit just to see how many were in there. Uh, but yeah, there was a ton of honeybees in here. So I had a beekeeper come up here and took as many bees and the honey as he could to try to save them. And I just dragged the log back here and I did that on one of the videos that I made. Um, still got my D-ring on here that a lot of guys said, don't forget your D-ring. I didn't forget it. It's still right there. Um, so I got to get that D-ring off there and we could throw this right on the fire pit and burn that as well. So lots of work to do here. I mean to do this video for a long time. Every time I plan to do it, we got a lot of rain and all this wood was super wet. So I didn't think it was going to burn very well. So I'll use the Kubota BX and the Artillion Grapple and uh, see how much we can get burned today.
most of that stuff cleared out of here. Um, I just got another little pile here to grab. Um, but all that stuff now is cleared out. You guys can see how many logs were in there. Um, just kind of drove me nuts, especially like in the springtime before all these leaves came back. Um, it just looked hideous with this huge pile of brush here. Um, so I'm gonna clean that pile up next. I'm just waiting for this fire to burn down a little bit. As soon as it burns down, I'll grab that little pile right there and we will continue to work our way down the line there.
right guys so things are going pretty good so far i've got quite the pile burned and quite the pile still to burn here so right here is where we started so you can see we got all that cleared out and then we did some more clearing right here uh, through this area right here there wasn't much it's just pretty much you know bushes and whatnot and then we worked our way down to here so we got all this cleared out there was a bunch of big logs in through here um, same with down over here you can see how i kind of pushed some of this back went through and pulled out all the big stuff and the last area we did was this area and this area down here so this area there was a huge pile of brush as you guys see me move um, the reason why that was pushing that corner and i couldn't ever really get to it was because we had those two big stumps in the way um, which i'll link that video up here where we pulled these two stumps out um, so now without them stumps in the way i was able to finally get all that brush out of there so that's much nicer um, and then this is the last area that we did that we were just working on um, and i've already cleared out a bunch of this over here so now we're getting to this spot here where we got this um, broken tree branch here or the top of a tree um, so i think what i'm going to do is get my chain i'll hook the kubota bx right to the bottom here and we'll drag it and see if we can drag this thing on out of here um, as you see it's kind of wedged in between these trees and then we got another dead tree coming across them right in the crotch of that tree um, so we'll have to see how it goes but i'm thinking i can jerk it down with the kubota and uh, i'll cut it up into some manageable pieces and throw it on a burn pit Right, guys so we we're able to get that tree pulled down out of there um so that was good we got it on the fire pit now burning i'm gonna let the rest of this burn down and i think i'm gonna call it quits for tonight it's getting pretty late and i have to work in the morning so we'll get back at this soon hopefully in the next week or two and finish the rest of this up kubota bx did awesome as well as the artillery and grapple this thing never ceases to amaze me um it does everything that i ask it to and um you know i was pulling on it pretty hard a couple times i actually didn't realize that i was grabbing a tree that was still in the ground and um that's not the first time i've done that either and i've actually twisted this entire uh grapple i've pulled on things and actually seen this whole thing twisting um left right and side to side and as you can see it's not bent um so it's definitely a tough grapple i've grabbed things right on the corner here and pulled and had this whole lid twisted sideways so i'm definitely giving this thing a workout um, if it's going to have stress cracks or start cracking i think i'm going to be the first one to know about it um so i'll definitely keep you guys posted but man this thing's a brute but yeah performed good so we've got it cleared from here all the way down way down to that brush pile down this way. This big pile right here. 
and a little pile after it. So yeah, we're definitely making progress though. I've been wanting to get back here all summer. I've just been so busy. Um, still want to get that stump grinder. As you can see, I've got lots of stumps all the way up through here from all them trees we cut down. So I definitely want to get a stump grinder still and we could just go to town back here. We still also got to do this side here where we got that big log and we've got some brush on the other side of that burn pit there so we could tackle that next time as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned next week. I got some cool things coming for the Kubota BX. Um, I ordered some pretty neat stuff that I think you guys are really going to like. I was actually going to do that for a video this weekend. Um, I was going to do it Friday, then I was going to do it Saturday, but both packages ended up being wrong, so I have to get some stuff reshipped to me. Um, so I will have that hopefully by next weekend. I think you guys are really going to like it. Um, so that's for next weekend. That's why I ended up doing a video today on Sunday. Normally I try to get them out, you know, Friday, Saturday, but trying to do them videos and not getting all the right parts in the mail, that kind of put me behind and I couldn't do the video. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. As always, we'll see you guys in the next one.